Testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three. Start of the way, guys. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Venkabot. Uh, Smash Bros. action. My name is David. I'm going to raise the volume here. Wait, what? There's a new update? Huh. Just move my step into the bathroom. That's too kinky, though. I'd probably get banned for Twitch. Banned from Twitch for that. What? Oh, that makes sense, I guess. Yeah, yeah, restart it, sure. Yeah, 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 download it, dude. I already clicked that button, didn't I? Fucking you wise, man. Bad for your skin, huh? That would explain why my skin is so bad. Probably one reason. When I was in high school, guys, I had really bad acne. Pretty bad. I still have some. But I wonder if it's my... that my habits have changed? Or if it's just that... I've gotten older and it just kind of wears off after a while. Because I feel like my hygiene habits have changed. And yeah, I, I used to eat a lot of like really greasy foods. I still, like, as you guys know, I still eat pretty bad food. But I used to eat like a lot of like buttery, greasy foods. I think made that a lot worse. I wonder, man. Okay, so we got an update for the game, I guess. Is it a balance update? What got changed? Anything get added? I skipped the announcement saying as loud as I could, I don't care, but maybe I do care. Maybe I'm a liar. Maybe I'm a lion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so this game should work now. Let's go online. It's so loud. This game's so loud. Battle arenas. Create an arena. That's fine. We're gonna call it, uh, Twitch TV Venkabot. Uh, Inkzerk, are you my friend on Switch? Not sure it really matters, though, since the whole friend thing doesn't seem to work that well. I'll show you guys the code. It was server maintenance. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if that'll improve uh, netplay quality. So our code here is uh, FBGJC. FBGJC. Fucking big, goofy, you know, Justin C. FBG JC. As long as you're not uh, slathering across your face, greasy food isn't going to affect your complexion. I'm not sure I agree with that. We actually had this, we had this conversation before. Oh, you're Josh. Oh, wow, that's funny. So you've been here from when you, you've been in the lobby before, but you've been pretty quiet in the chat. You mentioned that earlier. We got soup. What's that soup tastic? Probably not. You be lying. I said that earlier. I said maybe I'm a lion, and now this handle is you be lion. That's weird. The fuck. What's up, Joey? We'll see how it goes, man. I'm really ass at this game. Like super duper ass. Three, two, one, go! Hands off my It's a lot of damage. Nice. I need to not jump as much as I do when I'm off the ledge. Like, right there, too. Why am I jumping so much? Oh, sick. Did I drag him through the stage, through the platform? I always jump there. I'm surprised I blocked that in time. Oh, it's kind of behind me. Oh, crashed through me. Woof. 
Oh, I, I thought I would hit, you know, further than that. I guess not. Oh, that might have been punished there. Kind of stopped him in his tracks a little bit, which is interesting. It's kind of got a lot of recovery than it feels like, though. I can't, like, dash afterward. I gotta find a way to get kills. If I can't get a smash, can my opponent's moving too much? Oh. Your skin won't uh, make more zit causing oils just because you indulge in greasy foods like pizza, burgers, fries, and potato chips. But working in a grease splattered setting, such as flipping burgers and frying spuds at fast food joint, may help. May bring out blemishes, huh? Good gaming, sir. Yeah, I don't believe you, Steve. Thank you for the follow, Siren K. Whoa, we got a full lobby all of a sudden. That's nice. That's like life more interesting here. Oh, yeah, Josh versus whoever this guy is here. Soup. Playing Inkling, which is considered to be the strongest character in this game, I think. Where did my server go? I don't think I have a server. You mean my, uh, you mean my, uh, lobby? I think this is full up. Welcome aboard, uh, what is this? Foxy Fwen? It's kind of a cool handle. Typical of, uh, Smash play. Welcome aboard, dude. Oh, no, no, did we talk about, we talked, uh, no, no, our subject we were talking about last time was about pizza. How guys feel about the fact, what do you guys, every, excuse me, you guys ever have a pizza before that's really greasy, and then your whole face feels greasy afterward, like you feel like you're sweating out the pizza? Is that just me? I want to hear your guys' thoughts about this very important topic. Me and Dix talked about this, and I think what we decided was that it actually does impact your complexion. It affects, it does, you do somehow like sweat out, you somehow sweat out the grease. For the same reason why when you like eat a bunch of onions, you kind of feel the onions in your face. And same with garlic, you like sweat out the garlic. Welcome to the stream guys, you guys are new to the stream, you guys are like, what are you guys talking about? Nasty motherfuckers. Not a bad uh, stock there for uh, Josh, he lost his stock kind of early, but he's almost got this guy killed. Oh, he's gonna kill him right there. Ooh, oh, he missed the edge. He was kind of scared of Josh's claws right there and pulled back. This connection is not the best, but I think it, when I fought Josh, it was kind of similar. It wasn't enough to significantly impact uh, gameplay, I feel like. So I got ink to spare. I hear that bomb uses a lot of ink. Like more than most of our other tools. Which I find interesting because it's not that it's not that powerful. It does cover them completely head to toe in ink if it hits them, I think. So from what I understand, it's uh, I mean it doesn't seem to be that useful otherwise. Okay, good up smash. So Josh has made a nice little comeback here. He's only like 30% behind right now. He's got the ink wearing off as well. And the soup is almost out of ink. Gonna refill it right now, in fact. Look at the follow Foxy Flynn. We play Smash here on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. We're a variety stream, though. We're thinking about trying other games aside from Smash in the near future. Every day we do three different shows here on Venkabot. Tomorrow's Friday, we'll be playing a lot of Hitman, Blood Money, as well as some uh, programming streams. You can learn to program with me. Intro to Python, we call the show. And also some Minecraft tomorrow. And next week's gonna be more Smash, though, of course. After that, though, we're thinking about trying to swap Smash out for maybe some horror games. We have a lot of fun in any case. Whatever we're playing, we have a lot of fun. Most of the time, as Bob Dylan would say. So we see uh, Josh moving to the lead here. 
Now, unlike the other uh, space animals, F uh, Wolf is pretty heavy. Yeah, we're thinking about playing uh, uh, F-E-A-R. She's kind of like a horror shooting game. In the past, we've played The Evil Within 1 and 2, as well as Dead Space 1 and 2. But those are my only experience with horror games. Welcome aboard, Cheese. Yeah, actually, believe it or not, even though I lived through the golden age of horror games, I never really played that many. My first horror game I ever played was on stream, and that was Evil Within 1, and that game was sick. So was the second, so was the sequel, and so was the, uh... And so was the, uh... You know, uh, Dead Space games. Is Metro the same devs as Fear Dicks? So, our very gracious friend Overlord Steve gave me a gift of, uh, the Fear Collection. Overlord Steve bought me all the Fear games. And said, you know, if you have the time, go ahead and stream them. If not, that's fine. Stream them at your leisure. And that was many months ago now. Not a bad match there. All the way down to 64%. Very close. That's what you'd like to see, right? You don't want to see a one-sided match. Yeah, so I think now's a good time to play some fear. What's up, Katie? Benkavat! I really don't like the salty clap for the inklings. Thankfully, she doesn't lose that often. I also want to play KD's suggestion of Wild Arms 4. Maybe some other, maybe some Wild Arms game on stream. I've never played a Wild Arms game, and that'd be a good long play, I think. If I'm going to play one JRPG franchise on stream, I told you guys I'm kind of not, I'm not sure I want to play Lunar 2 or uh, Final Fantasy 7. But I would like to play a Wild Arms game. A Vato bot, oh my god. Yeah, Wild Arms is a lesser-known JRPG franchise, Steve. It's not as widely remembered as Final Fantasy and Dragon Warrior and other big um, Square Enix properties. But it is very successful. It has many games in that franchise. It's in the same tier as, like, Lunar and uh, Breath of Fire, maybe a little bit more popular than Wild Arms. But in that same tier of, like, JRPG franchises, that are well known and much beloved by JRPG fans, but not really known by that many guys outside of that community. You're not surprised, Steve. You're also kind of a you're kind of a, a youngin when it comes to your taste in games. In any case, I haven't played any Wild Arms game. My friends love them, though. Yeah, the Tales games. Yeah, Tales games are also kind of at that same tier as Final Fantasy. Where Kenny says that you know it's kind of unusual for him to be more aware of Wild Arms and Tales, but Tales has become a pretty big franchise. I only ever played one Tales game, that was for SNES. It was called Tales of... Tales of... Uh, something. What's up, Super Ant, Super Ant Droid? Is your name Anthony? Or are you just a Super Ant, like Ant-Man? Yeah, I played one of the earliest Tales games on SNES. Symphonia. Yeah, that's what I think, Kitty, but what's the one called that's on GameCube? Wasn't that one Symphonia? Or are they both called Symphonia? Because I want to say it was called Symphonia. But isn't there... Like, wasn't the biggest one, the one that was a breakout hit on GameCube? Wasn't that called... Uh... Game. Sup, Aaron, to Joy. That's kind of cool, too. Fantasia. Thank you, Scrub Series. Fantasia. What's up, Scrub Series? A lot of Oh, Josh is unstoppable. My name is Andrew. I just misspelled Android once and actually made it a pun, huh? Android. Wow, that's a really sick uh, history behind that name. Look how tiny Falcon's hands are! No, don't look! Yo, I'm so glad I didn't look. It's too late. Never ever look at how small his hands are. You will never unsee it. Oh my god. I'm traumatized. Super Android. What's cool about that is it was a misspelling, but now you actually have like a built-in logo. Can you imagine if you had your, like, a really big stream one day, Super Android? You could have like a really cool like super robot ant as your image. That'd be sick. Fantasia was 95, Destiny was 97, Eternia was 2000, etc., etc. Huh? There are 16 Tales games. It's a very popular franchise these days. I think they really kind of broke out in the GameCube era, right? Oh no, we got a broken lobby here. Yeah, shout out to uh, uh, Nintendo. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate for having really busted ass lobbies. Not as bad as um 
Third strike, but pretty bad. Hopefully Lobby's still alive. Damn you, Digital Eclipse. Sometimes it just kills the whole lobby, other times not. Yeah, it did, it fucked it up. Create new arena. Get thirsty ass arena name. There we go. Right, let's see what the new name is here. Rest in peace, GG Nintendo. Rest in peace. What do we got here? It's 1LNHK. 1LNHK. 1LNHK, like one lane Hong Kong. Thank you, Kenny. It's part of my plan all along, guys. I get another turn. Yo, guess who's back? One day I'll get to tell my millions of viewers that deep lore behind my name, exactly. They'll be like, wow. That's such a great story, Super Ant. Let me buy all your t shirts. Thank you, loyal followers. These t-shirts are going to buy themselves. Ooh. Ooh. I actually could have saved myself if I'd done that sooner. I thought something that couldn't do that. That's thick. If I have block, I can probably punish it. Huh? Oh my god. A little bit off there. Ooh, yeah, the back end. Nice crap. Lucky as fuck right there. Nice grab. Oof, the back grab. Back throw. Let's see here. Did he say hands off my cock? Yes, he did. Yeah, yes, he did. They've been pretty hot water, like Nintendo, but they're sticking, they're sticking by their guns, dude. They said that in real life, so uh, there's a press release recently from Nintendo where they defended their use of Falco's taunt, hands off my cock. They said, in real life, all living creatures have cocks if they're male, right? So him saying hands off my cock isn't really that offensive. Right? He's just saying, don't touch my penis. Uh, Super Ant says, pretending my username has a long history to it would actually be a funny gag for a champ. 
You never, you can never let them know what it is, all right? Never tell them the actual lore. Let's trust me. There's some pretty big lore there. It involves a sign experiment's gone awry. Now, oh, come on, Foxy. Don't, don't spoil the deep lore behind Super Ant's name. So that's pretty laggy here. Lethargy. It's kind of a cool name. It's like lethal and lethargy. But you gotta fix his connection. That's not fair to say. Josh can have a little bit of lag too sometimes. Oh, if it's a male bird, it's a whole bird. It's the cot. Right? Oof, pretty laggy. Good night, Overlord Steve. Have a good rest, man. Who can get thumbs? How about they didn't stick to the edge? That uh, Gordo. The Edward Gordo. Whoa! No way, that was sick! The Royal Stomp? A little uh, footstool there doesn't really help him, though. diddy has got many, many jumps. Scoops. Interesting trade there. A little pizza rolls. Yeah, so I would like to play a Wild Arms game. But here's my concern, guys. When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. But also, when I was a young boy, I used to love JRPGs where you had tons of NPCs that had uh, unique dialogue, right? So you have like a town in a JRPG, right? And there'd be like 20 NPCs in that town, maybe more. Each one had at least, you know, two lines of dialogue. And that shit got me off when I was a kid. But nowadays, that drives me insane when games do that. Because I compulsively have to check every single NPC. I can't just ignore these NPCs, right? I have to talk to them all until they're out of dialogue. And what I found is that it ruins games for me now. If I go back and try and play like old JRPGs, I get driven insane by the number of NPCs there are. I get an F in the chat for Reggie Pepe hands. I heard there's a new uh, director for Nintendo. Is that true, Super Ant? Like a new uh, CEO or some shit? Of Nintendo of America? Wow. This guy's pretty decent, but again, the is pretty bad. Oh wow, I can suck that in? Sick. And from where I watched my friend playing Wild Arms 1 recently, my friend N. Cruz, check out his channel, N underscore C-R-U-Z. That's N underscore C-R-U-Z, N. Cruz. He's playing Wild Arms 1 on PSX. And, uh, when I see those, oh no, I hate to see that. When I saw how many NPCs there are in that game, I was like, yo, my yeah. His name really is Doug Bowsey? No way. I heard there's a Doug Bow, some guy named Doug Bowsette or whatever. Somebody was joking. His name really is Bowsey? That's crazy. Yo, good night, Inkzerk. Get okay, one last game, dude. We got Foxy's playing right here in the chat, in the, uh, in the lobby. Hopefully this section's okay. His name is not Doug Bowser, dude. No way. No way. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't let Bowser run Nintendo of America. No, don't look at his hands. Never look at Falcon's hands. I made a big mistake at looking at Falcon's hands recently. It's a big mistake. Good connection at least between uh, Josh and Shade. Now return to your original position. Big cheesy boy says, "Yo, this Josh man's looking hot." Yeah, Josh is uh, ink zork in the chat. He's about to go to bed here. This man's got school in the morning. He said, "He's been doing pretty damn fine." Watch the flow of my movements as I demonstrate. His name is Doug Bowser, Katie. Yo, Katie says that I gotta trust it. This man's never lied to me once. Focus on stretching you back. Well, some of you guys who are the lords of lies. 
Doug, they made Bowser the CEO of Nintendo of America. I'm pretty new to Smash at Father John's. I've never, now I've, I played Melee position. a lot back in the day. I thought I was good at it, but uh, when I actually played my first tournament, I realized I was pretty trash at Melee as well. But I played that, that's the last game I played consistently in the series. And even then, my fundamentals weren't that good. So I never played Brawl. I played very, very, very little of Smash 4. I'm trying to learn a little bit of Smash here, but I'm finding it's a very uh, complex game and not that easy to pick up. To say the very least. He's really stretching that back. Reggie Phil, uh, Phil, uh, what's the, how do you press his name again? Phil Zemay, something like that? Retires. Now Doug Bowser takes over? Position. No way. The jokes make themselves. Oh my god. They're gonna have to make fun of that, right? Every Nintendo Direct has to make fun of that now. If your name is Doug Bowser, you should have to change your name before you become CEO of Nintendo of America. That's crazy to me. Like, how do you get that job? No one ever said, I don't know, they might want to consider changing your name. He's got to, right, Katie? He's got to show up as some kind of character. Fire Bowser, make Lucas CEO so Mother 3 can get localized. I own a bootleg copy of um, Mother 3 on the Game Boy Advance cartridge, and it sucks. I paid good money for it. But I guess they used... Uh, a uh, relatively Watch shitty system for, you know, burning the ROM onto the cart, so it's got glitches. It's mostly playable, it's got glitches. Uh, I like playing Zelda the most, Father John's, but I've been playing Falcon, uh, Falco, excuse me, Falco. Because when I watched other people play the way they played, it doesn't really translate to Zelda. Good games, Inkzerk. Yeah, Inkzerk is Josh. He's calling it quits for the night. So we're going to see here Foxy Flynn versus Zeal. I guess Zelda is a relatively extreme character. I guess she's kind of like, she has a certain play style to her that's not true of every character in this game. And so watching other people play, I couldn't really apply what I was seeing to Zelda. So I've been playing Falco instead. Seems much more traditional. Ignite Zerk. So Shay's changing the character or something. I should change the music here. I have to leave the lobby though. I have to leave the, the line for that. So Big Cheese Boy claims that he's a zombie. I find that very hard to believe though. I don't believe in zombies. But uh, I've been wrong before about things. Here we have another Zelda. Zelda is more defensive, Isaac. I love defensive play, Super Andrew. I love defensive play. But I've never seen a Zelda player win. That's my thing, right? When I watch guys win, they're playing a certain way that Zelda can't seem to play. I feel like Link was Zelda, right? Because the Legend of Zelda. So when I don't watch Zelda's play, they, they use that up B or teleport much more than I used to. I haven't played Zelda in a, in a, a week or so. Why is Luigi throwing an ass in his profile pick, huh? He's trying to get that money. I can't blame him for that. Wow, that a punish? Yeah, uh, Luigi's picture is definitely quite provocative. But he's a provocateur. So from what I heard from my friend, Zelda's teleport is not as unsafe as it looks. Luigi's a Twitch thing. Thanks for the follow, by the way, Super Android. Then we have another follow as well that I forgot to, to recognize. Because I'm stupid. Let me see here. What do we got here? Yeah, Fox Fan, Siren K, Foxy Fan, thank you guys for coming by and hanging out, playing some games, and dropping that follow. We're a variety stream again, guys. If you come back here and see us not playing Smash, don't panic. We're going to be playing Smash again all next week. At least. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Then perhaps on Fridays after that. It must have been a long ass stop. So the summons Shadow Knights? Yes, yeah, she does. It's so sick. So KD knows me from my primary game, which is Third Strike. And, um, whoa, shorty, uh! And I love defensive style play. And, wow, Zeal. And, uh, 
Zelda has this cool Shadow Knight, which allows you to uh, stand way far back and let him do the fighting for you, basically. And uh, also, you can't attack through it. So once it's out there, it's kind of like a shield, and that really appeals to me. Good punish. So her, her teleport is punishable, but I guess my friend is telling me that I need to use it more because it has got very high reward, higher than I thought it did. Its risk reward is actually not that bad. It's pretty good from what I hear, actually. Good movement there from Foxy Flynn. Her teleport is definitely a kill move for one thing. And again, it's not as unsafe as it looks on Whiff. Also, uh... Ooh. Wow. Zelda's, uh... Oh, sick. I'm sick. Zelda's, uh... Nehru's love for a little crystal thing is... Ooh, God. It's actually invincible on startup. Or, excuse me, invincible uh, toward the middle of it, basically. It's not like a true Shoryu, but it is invincible. Imagine fighting Zelda spamming down B, huh? As Lucas? Well, Lucas has pretty good jumps, right? You can jump over her uh, for night. So John's playing Snake, huh? So I have, a, I have I hate Snake and I hate Lucas. Both the guys in the chat that are, that are telling me what kids they're playing, I hate both them. Because they... Uh, I find that those two characters in particular kind of seem to come in here and troll a lot. And by troll, I mean they're just playing their game, right? They're playing their game, but it's sort of... Ooh! It's sort of, uh, they're very hard to deal with, you know, as a beginner. Let's put it that way. Seems like, uh, from what I understand, it's not uncommon that snakes sort of, uh, are pretty strong against beginners online. I've, got, I've gotten better at fighting snake, because there have been so many guys that have been playing snake in here. Whoa! Yeah. Dethrone the Zeal guy. I don't like his fucking attitude. He's a good Zelda color, but... Oh, hey, it's me. Don't worry, guys, I got this. Don't know how to play, but I got this. Yeah, exactly, Katie. They, they really made Zelda, and all the slow characters have gotten big buffs in this game. All the slow characters have become much faster and much more uh, aggressive. In general, Zelda's pretty sick in this game. I mean, I'd be playing her right now if not for the fact that uh, she's kind of unusual. Okay, this is my Tommy back, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, that's funny. some iframes there. Yeah. 
Okay, punch me there. Oh, got from behind me. Got me. Nice spacing. Slow on the punish there. Got me back rolling. Oh, we missed. Sorry, guys. What GSP are y'all at with your mains? I only played ranked the first time this week. I've been playing mostly in lobbies, like this one. And uh, I'm not sure what my GSP is. Or how important it is. So basically, my experience in ranked guys is getting bodied. I went to ranked and I haven't won one set yet. Oh, oh, that's what he meant by you said I'm zombie. That's this is big cheesy boy. Okay. I was like, what do you mean I'm zombie? I thought he meant that he was literally a zombie. I was like, oh shit, we got a zombie in the chat. Creepy. If you guys don't know, uh, again, I kind of grew up in Melee, so uh, part of the culture here that I typically try to enforce is uh, please taunt at the start of every match. It's kind of a way to bow to your opponent. Makes the fights more fun, at least to me. So usually what I'll do is I'll taunt and then I'll wait for my opponent to taunt. Before we actually get into it, you know what I mean? But a lot of the guys that kind of grew up in ranks don't really have that, because there's no taunting in rank, right? Oh, wow, it's got a huge hitbox. Oh, I'm good. Oh, wow, I didn't know it went that far. I know it's facing that way. I'm lucky as fuck. Very long startup, though, on it. the right way somehow. Wow. Oh, fuck. I didn't have another jump. Oh, that shucks. Kills him pretty powerfully. Wow, I was lucky. Oof. Oh, 
Oh, he canceled it when he landed. Good game, big cheesy boy. That's one of the lamest victory poses ever. So another tr uh, tradition we have here, guys, is another tradition we have is to rate the salty claps. Right? Typically, the better the salty clap is, uh, we have kind of like a tier list for salty claps right now. Right? DK right now is pretty much the top of the tier list for the salty claps. Um, bottom tier would be like uh, we saw Inkling earlier, very bottom tier salty clap. Falco's, you know, somewhere around mid low, not that great of a salty clap. Tradition, as in only Venka does it. Oh, well, I mean, you know, I'm trying to spread it, Dick. Somebody's got to start it, right? We gotta be a trendsetter here. Three, two, so Kid G has the whack oh. pit costume, the pasty mayonnaise pit. I respect that though. He's trying to get into his opponent's head, right? The match starts before the match even begins, guys. And your character color. It's very important when you pick to get into your opponent's psychology. I think that pasty mayonnaise pit is probably a pretty strong pick. So Lance has SSJ pit. We had this conversation before. If it's actually a Super Saiyan pit. Or if it's like some kind of creepy children of the corn, pasty looking pit. I think it's the latter, personally. He's really making a uh, zombie move here. Look more Lambda. It's not that important. It's still the same matchmaking as someone with 2,000. Oh, really? I guess it's just bragging rights that you're an elite. So does the game not match you up with guys at your same skill level? I, I thought it was supposed to, but I went to ranked, and the guys that I fought were uh, pretty powerful. I said I couldn't take a single set. These guys were using combos. They were effectively spacing their attacks, dash dancing, moving. And I'm kind of a novice, and I was like, what the fuck? These are the guys in the same tier as me? Could just be that I'm really that bad, though. It's really astonished me that... That. I couldn't get a one single set in rank. I thought the whole idea was to have you fight guys that are on your same skill level. Until you ranked up, right? Then you fight guys in that skill level. It does, but you will still match made with four player free for alls and items on. Yeah, I noticed that. I was fighting guys that want to play on like Pac Land and stuff. I was like, ooh! Pac Land, ooh! So far, Kid G is looking uh, pretty uh, powerful. Good connection, too. I like that. You gotta love a good match with no lag. That's the best. Wow. Make Pac Man a legal stage. No! Fuck a Pac Man. I'm about to ban Shade from the chat right now. Get that ban, son. Very good game indeed. Who's gonna stop Big G? Not me, that's for sure. Yeah, it's an okay salty clap. What I find is that salty claps lower in the tier list, the smaller the character's hands are. That's an indicator of how low tier their salty clap's gonna be. Got in your face. Yeah, he made you move, right? He was kind of being very mobile. And Pit has some very large uh, hitbox attacks, right? A lot of his aerials like hit everywhere, it seems like. So it's kind of hard to deal with him uh, when he's moving that much. Two, one, go! So we got Kaj here. Getting a good connection, seems like, which is great. I'm running away right off the bat seems like a weird decision. Might be a novice kind of attacking the wrong way, but so would I. I don't know what, he's, what his plan is here. Kind of running away. He doesn't seem to be that concerned about getting damage. All right, now he's up there. Hmm. Interesting. You suck on Battlefield, huh? I suck on every stage. Yeah, so I feel like Kaj's definitely a, a beginner. <laughs> yeah, look at that animation. Ah, he got up just in time to avoid the attack. That's fine. 
Yeah, let's go. Oh, was that a read? Or was that totally an accident? Okay, he's starting to get a little more aggressive now. I kind of like this guy. Well, he's being more aggressive now. Kind of. Nice. Good stage of practice teching. Yeah, exactly. Lots of ceilings. Is it just me, or is Tekken more forgiving in this game? It seems like, uh, if you tap the shield button, it's a little wider of a window to tech. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. This Kaj guy's, uh, game plan is too godlike. What was that move? Yeah, it's like electrical tactics, right, Vendata? Get into his head. Right, interesting trade there. Yo, if Kaj takes one round off of Kid G, or one stock, I'm gonna go ahead and and say that Kid G got bodied. Yeah, I tried to tech that stage spike. I got handed against Venka. I stage spiked you? I'm like, I don't know. I don't even know how to stage spike. What do you think about the last guy you fought? This guy, right? Kid G. I don't remember stage spiking you. I never go off stage to pursue anybody. Let's fuck up special. Did I stage spike you one time with that? Wow. I do kind of remember that a little bit. Oh, yeah, because you pursued me, right? You pursued me, and I was trying to recover. Right. I didn't get that kill there. There you go. We didn't get a single kill off of him. I tried to dunk you, yeah, and I got caught up in special exactly. Yeah, I remember that. I figured out this Lambda. That Pit is actually Ken. But Ken's also in his... Look at his teeth! Oh, my God! Ugh! It's a pretty good salty clap there from Mario. I like the best salty clap are the ones that that belie their true saltiness. That's the best ones, right? Where you can tell they're salty, but they're trying to hide it. Those are the best salty claps. You can Zelda salty clap very high tier for that reason. The only exception to that rule is DK salty clap, which is the saltiest clap. There is no subtlety about it, but it's still probably the highest tier of salty clap in this game. Okay, so I think that uh, Shade went for the- thank you guys, yeah. Alright, so yeah, so Kid G, I'm not sure if he's watching the stream or not, but to Shade respecting our rule here of taunting before the match, I think he's just Shade. He even gave Kid G a second shot after he got hit out of the first taunt, which is very respectable. Sometimes guys will attack an accident too, too early, and they'll hit your taunt, but if you pause and taunt again, then they'll taunt you back. Which is what we're going for here. But some guys aren't interested in taunting, they're interested in whooping ass. But don't worry, Big Cheesy, I got this, dude. I don't care if he is godlike. I'll bring out the Zelda. I wish you could fucking fix the, uh... Fix your character, like, between matches. Now I to leave the fucking lobby. That's, like, leave the line. I agree, Vendata, right? He's that, uh... He's playing that mayonnaise pit, so I'm not a huge fan of him. Looking like that white bread pit. It's a shade not doing too bad so far. He's behind in percentages, but not by much. Whoa. Yeah, Warrior Slowly Clap is pretty strong. It's pretty good. Because of the wah. Mewtwo is pretty good. I agree, Infinoko. Mewtwo is pretty good. Doesn't even keep his eyes open, just let alone clap. Yeah. And yeah, Mewtwo is very strong. Jix for sure is assaulted. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. So, uh, Jigglypuff has one of the most godlike victory animations, that's for sure. 
Watch the flow of my movements as I demonstrate. She'd just be falling asleep on people. So we're seeing uh, Kid G really starting to increase his lead here. It looked promising at first, but I'm not sure Shade's gonna be that guy. But Shade might still be that guy. Mistimed his uh, his aerial there. Just trying to try and hit him meaty. Lots of arrows here trying to keep him from recovering. Here we go. Shade's still alive. He's got a stock off of him anyway. I hope this Shade's kind of like Captain Planet, right? He's our hero. He's gonna take pollution down to zero. Wow, what? That was sick. Pretty good stock so far. Little combos here from Kiji. Oh no, be careful with those! Oh, let's fucking go. We're evened up, boys. We're evened up. Yo, tighten it up, Shade. Stay toy. Now return to your original. Nice. Okay, I like that uh, move there from Kid G. Ooh, what a block. Oh, fuck the spike. That was sick. God damn it. Nasty spike right there. Ooh, see, it looks like... Oh, my God. You! Look at this dude! Yo, look at his salty clap. Oh, my God. Yes. That's godlike. It almost bounces out how bad that victory pose is for, uh, for, uh, Pit. Ready? Yeah, Lambda, that's what I'm saying, dude. I don't not, I don't trust this, this Pit. That, uh, victory animation's really, really bad. They're yeah, good game, Shade. They're very close. Trying to catch what an arrow? Got combos, anti airs. He's going villager. He need a facelift. He needs fewer teeth. Uh, no envy. It's it's this mode is basically there's no way to ban stages as far as I can tell in lobbies. If you can, you can't choose which ones are banned. Right. My goal here is no items, but to allow competitively illegal stages, as long as they're not too obnoxious. I, I kind of get frustrated when I watch competitive Smash because there's not a whole lot of stage variety. I'd rather enjoy the stage variety and, uh, you know, deal with a couple of, you know, downsides, but still have no items. So what I've done is I've turned off certain stages, but it seems to only apply to Whenever I pick a random stage, it doesn't actually apply to the lobby itself. So the other guys can pick other stages if they want to play. Come on. Hi, item spawn. Golden hammers only is the best mode. My friend Dick Sucker would tell you that it's Pokemon only. I only have Pokemon stages. High spawn rate. How do series online matches work in Smash Ultimate? The four glory thing in Smash 4 is easier to understand. Uh, well, there's ranked. They can get pretty serious, but again, some guys mentioned earlier there's a problem with matchmaking where you can't enforce a rule set. It can, uh, you guys can suggest a rule set that you guys might both agree on, which is pretty pretty common, to be honest. But there's uh, situations where you might get put into, like, uh, some random smash bullshit. Like, I'm not totally sure if you can even ban... So basically, I banned items in this lobby. Right, no one can turn items on. But I'm not sure if I can ban stages. Pokemon Stadium, high items, Pokeballs only. How about Master Balls? Kid G, what? It's okay. When's my turn to buy this dude? After Zeal. Don't worry, guys, Zeal's got this. Good to see Pichu Pikachu being strong in this game, says Infinoco. But both of their nears are actually uh, mad. Yeah. I played Pikachu as my first character in this game, and I can I started to see why he was so strong. Pikachu does seem like his uh, aerial game is pretty nuts. Let's go with Zeal. The G stands for Genghis, <laughs> Big Cheesy. 
kill Genghis. Wow. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, he should put out the, the towards B, I think. Whoa, Zeal? Oh my god. Yeah. I don't know if it's a true combo or DI mix up after the first rep, but they can basically do melee Falco's pillar loops. I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty scary. Yo, gang is coming back. What's up, a cow says? Great incoming from who, Kaiju? I like how a cow shows up before the raid. He's gotta always be the guy who's there first. What's up, Kaiju? Welcome aboard, guys. We're playing Smash here for a little while longer. Getting good games, good commentary in the chat. I'm grateful to have some cool guys in the chat right now. Yo, what's up, Kaiju? Yo, dude! Fucking Akaos has spoiled your arrival. He showed up early and was like, yo, listen, Venkbot, watch out. But Kaiju's scheming something. He's got his way. I look at my defenses set up thanks to him. How are you guys doing? What's up, machine? Oof. It's spoilers. So, Zeal's not doing too shabby here. Okay. He's in a little bit hand with these. They're not safe. Rated Joey last night. Who's a super chill dude, might I add? Yeah, I think I was there. Oh, no, no. I was watching, uh, I was watching uh, Faust. Oh, yeah, and then Joey rated Faust. That's what happened, right? Then Joey rated Faust. Okay. Yeah, Joey's sick. It's impossible not to love Joey. Guys, go follow Joey. Twitch.tv slash I am Joey Cruz. C-R-U-S-E. I-A-M-J-O-E-Y. C-R-U-S-E. I am Joey Cruz. Also, Kaiju's also an awesome guy as well. He plays a lot of ST. Some uh, Resident Evil. One of my favorite streams on Twitch, to say the very least. Dang, man, I was dead tired all day and wanted to go to bed early. But then I accidentally napped for like two hours and now I'm wide awake. I'm sorry, who? Oh, this is uh, us Cool Hands. That invisible name as usual. What's up, Cool Hands? Sorry to hear that you're stuck awake. There's nothing worse in this world than not being able to sleep. Sleep is life. And being awake is death. Oh, we can be stopped, dude. Trust me. I'm gonna body him three stocks to zero. What a recovery. Not up center stage, says Infinoco. People peeps should keep jumping and sitting on platforms against Pit. Gotta get Infinoco here to stop this guy. We got a really big uh, lead right now. Whoa, that kills. Yo, ban this character. What? That button kills? Oh my, yeah. Don't worry, guys. I'm out of everybody to stand back. Oh, I missed a salty clap. Fuck. Mashing buttons. You live in the U.S., man. I can't play anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you said you're in Japan. Ready? Don't worry, Lambda. I got this. I'm sure it's going to be just fine. What are you guys worried about? I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Easy win. Oh, come on. There we go. That's better. At least he doesn't interrupt the taunt. You know, he's kind of honorable. Okay, you have to taunt back, though, for it to be truly honorable. Oh, he's got parries like that? I still got to lead him at 50%. Who cares? Ouch. Wow, this is crazy. Oh, fuck! Wow! So I got 34% on him, guys. No big deal. Jesus. Damn, it's so hard to fuck with that.
Oh, fuck. I'm not sure that works that way. Oof. Damn, I really beat my back here. Two frames. Oof. Thanks, Kaiju. Don't worry, guys. I got him next time. That was just data. I got the read. Look at this dude's neck. That's all data, big cheesy boy. I'm learning his patterns, alright? Next time, easy. He better not still be up there when I get there. I get my sweet revenge. Kyle says then fuck him. Fuck a skinny neck dude. What the Bofus Jeefus? Then get it about. That's my name, don't wear it out. Then fuck him in a well lit room. With a camera. Let's go, Alex. Oh, this is this guy again. He was trolling last time, but does he want to play or not? I don't think he does. No, 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 this is not the same guy. That guy I think was like Kaj or something. Okay, not looking too shabby so far. Let's go. That move was so hard to fuck with. What is that, his torrid air? What the fuck? You guys see that? Was that a reaction to the fucking arrow? Did you see him lay on the ground, then when he threw an arrow, roll up on his ass and grab him as a punish? <laughs> that was the sickest shit of all time. Ooh, combos! Facing the wrong way. Interesting movement! Uh-oh, that's not safe. No punish, though. Wow. Well, Alex has to get a kill, though. Well, dude, that, that, uh, his Torrid B is, like, unfuckwithable. That's kind of the property. I think it's fucking overpowered, to be honest. Just to make jokes back to the thing, I used to watch my friends play Smash 4. I never played Smash 4 seriously, but I used to troll with, uh, with Dark Pit. Because of his towards B was, like, so unbelievable. Aw, oh, dang, he went really deep. Yeah, but the, the, the towards B is invincible. His big, his big uppercut is invincible. It'll beat literally anything. Okay. He's down by a stock, but not much more than that. The old, remember the bits of cow says he went deep, went too deep. Vendana says, I'm kind of disappointed that you said dark pit, not dark pit. Hear the call of your lord, Kid G. Abandon the ways of light pit and come to the truth of dark pit. As in, if the character's too strong? I'm not sure I understand in deep game. He can't be stopped. He can be stopped. Yo, Big Cheese Boy, you got this, dude. Give him that zombie like uh, the cranberries, dude. Get in his head. He's in your head. He's your head. Zombie. He's playing damn fine, you're right, Infinoko. He's playing Three, damn fine. Two, one, go. Get in his head, zombie, exactly. Exactly, Envy. Yeah, fuck Kid G. He's not taunting or anything like that. He seems to be pretty respectful. 
But he's not he's also not taunting the start of the round. Right? It's immediate uh, grounds for uh, for uh, villain ship here on Venkaba. If you're not taunting for the match, you are definitely a uh, confirmed asshole. KTB says kick his ass! We're trying, dude. This guy was born to conquer the planet. It's his destiny. He teabagged Zelda earlier, did he? He teabagged that Kaj guy earlier, but the Kaj guy's being a fucking troll as well. Also, that Zelda guy's been tagging, teabagging all day, too. That Zeal character. He's been mad teabagging. The true hunkbox of Ultimate, huh? Is Kid G. Kid Genghis. What well, you gotta show, Machine? You gotta show the whole class. It's gonna be having secrets between you and the cow says. We're community here. The dude was born to eat ass and kick bubblegum, but he's all out of ass. This guy isn't gonna beat him by full jumping constantly. I don't know. He's trying to play a zoning game, trying to keep him out. It's kind of hard to fuck with Pitt's huge buttons. He wanted to fuck the PK fire that time. Oh, he sidestepped it. Pretty slick. Punish that! No, no punish. Punish that! Just hit him! If he misses with that big fist, he's super unsafe. Nice movement there from Kid G. Kid great at this game. Kid get wrecked. And Venkabak is back up there again, dude. I don't care if this guy is better at this game than me. I'm still gonna body his ass. It's called beginner's luck, guys. Look it up. It's only a matter of time. It's a law of averages. Still alive. Portal. Uh-oh, that's not safe. I like that. Covering his recovery. Yeah, but he's, he's kind of... It's like Zombie has trouble getting that, uh, that thunder, that lightning, or whatever it's called. Thanks, Machine. It's game over for you. you got a stock. That's true. No one can take that stock away from you. You got Shade. So Shade didn't do that bad against him last time. It's okay, big cheesy boy. You're in good company. I don't think my last comment made any sense. Machine's a guy that needs to eat the at the Ram Ranch with the Fords and the and the trucks and stuff. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. So wait, so yeah, that shade just taunted, right? I don't think Kiji started taunting even before the matches. He still fights without honor. I wasn't really watching. Oh, somebody just taunted. If not both. Who's Shade? Bardi, I don't know this dude. I don't know this Kid G guy. Bardi, this dude. I don't know this dude. Real recognize real. I don't know this dude. Big cheesy chungus boy. I wish he had blown that bomb up. That would have been so sick. Can he blow up his bomb while he's being comboed? Or does he have to have... You know, frames to do that. He's playing legit, yeah, he's playing legit. This guy's really strong. I still don't know this dude, though. So, bye to this dude. Okay. Good space in there. Oh no! Big uppercut. Kid Genghis. Kid God? Question mark? Good night, Bofus. 
Pleasure having you for a little while, homeboy. Get a good rest or I'll know. I will know if you didn't. Wow, that's crazy. Up smash is so active. Ban that character too. Ban every character. Okay. Punish that? Oh, come on. It's a dash attack. Get that grip or mash A or something. Ooh, think of the final uh, Saburo Kidashi. Saburo Kidashi. Uh oh, uh oh, wow, what the fuck? Ban them all except for Lucas. Ban them all, including Lucas. Whoa, that was Galaxy Brain. What the fuck? Was that a Towards Tilt hit behind him? Yeah, how can you clap hitboxes like those? That's not safe. It's Lucas Mirrors forever. PK Fire Mirrors. Saburo! Pretty good salty clap. That's really, really strong. That's a really strong salty clap. I respect that. Seven percent in a stock. Not too bad. We got Terry. Meant to Z drop bomb. Rusty AF. Good game, Shade. Kid God, dude. Yo, Terry. Party this dude! I don't know this dude! I don't know you either, but party this dude! Two, one, go. No taunts either side. This fight is unsanctioned, guys. These fights are not worth points. If both players don't taunt, they're not worth points. Lots of Mario's tonight. I don't think I've ever seen Mario online until tonight. It's been three different Mario players. Can he change his name somehow? Is this the same guy? Ooh, yeah, don't mash jump there. I learned that from my friend. I don't know why you're not supposed to mash jump, but apparently it fucks you up somehow. Just yeah. test if a D tilt fair or whatever that combo is he's doing is true or not by mashing air dodge towards stage. If it's legit, there's nothing you can do other than try to DI away. Nice. Let's go, Terry. Get the come back. Wow. I fucking hate that button. Towards buh. Like, towards buh. Hell yeah, dude. Man, that towards B is invincible to everything. It's a kill move. It has huge reach. That shit goes mad far. It reflects projectile. If you shoot a projectile at it, it reflects it back. At least Dark Bits does. Give him that salty ass uppercut in the nuts. I respect that. Yeah, he's not reacting to the smash, of course. He's uh, he's uh, doing it because of the situation, like the spacing. He's like, you're gonna press a button right here, so eat shit. It's got kind of a long startup. So you can't just use it on reaction to things. You just put it out there and hope for the best. It's pretty unsafe, but not even really as unsafe as it should be. 
It should be at least as unsafe as an option like uh, poor Incineroar's uh, up B, which is super unsafe on whiff. Or on block. But uh, towards B for Pit and Dark Pit is actually, you know, it's punishable, but you have to be kind of quick. Well, got a full percent on him. Let's go, Foxy. Let's go, Foxy. Wario is quite buff. He's a very heavy boy. Wow, that sucks. That's not safe. Pitch buttons are too fucking big, man. They're big and they're thick. Okay. So, how do you beat Pit? He has a sword, right? His sword has no hurt box. It's insanely thick. If he's hitting buttons, what do you do against him? What's the counterplay? Block? Is he unsafe on block? Is he not plus on block? We got a block. No one's been able to beat his buttons yet. I got, I'm not sure he can beat his buttons. Because, again, he has that big sword. It's so active. That was weird. It's not the character, it's the player. He's unsafe on block, but he mixes up with grabs when he starts blocking. That's, I wanna, that's why I want to know. So, his, his jump-ins are... He kind of plays mostly spacing and timing his attacks. I think part of the part of the counterplay would be not to be in the air. Right? I don't think you want to be in the air because his air game is just so strong. Shield to side B. Well, I mean, he's not using side B that much. I just mean in general. His, his, most of his game plan seems to be getting you in the air and hitting you with a bunch of air buttons. Which is, that's what I mean when I say thick. Talk about his aerials. Don't jump at him. Test your shield options. Throw, buffer, whatever, buffer roll, whatever. And try to stay under him. That's what I'm thinking. Because it seems like he's the strongest in the air. If you're playing Falco, you can short hop laser, I'd imagine. Short hop laser? To beat him, you have to be him. Okay. Gotta get into his mind. Oh no, Zeal! Yo, the homie stock? Oh my god. Yo, Kid G is old school. That made up for all the time they didn't taunt before the match. I can't believe this man just homie stopped. Okay. Wow, it's really a lot of hit stun on that move. Holy shit. Bowser says, was Gucci I came to me? What's up, Bowser Jr. 476? Alright. Not a bad stock so far, all things considered. Tick grabs, classic. So the longer you charge it, the more hit stun it has, huh? This has got a long way to go. Choose Dark Pit. I don't think I have Dark Pit. If I did, I definitely would. Yeah, I don't think I even have Wolf Unlocked. Maybe I do as of yesterday. Just strutting down the boulevard and I find you what's really good. 
Oh, you know, just playing Smash. Have a good time. Hang out with the homies. The homie stock fast. Thanks for that clip. Kid G is realistic. All this time, I thought he was just an illusion. Just basing on the back here. Okay. Good game, Zeal. Victory! Ooh, look at his teeth. Yo, that's a fucking... Whoa, that's a bottom tier salty clap right there. First of all, her face has no emotion. Second of all, who claps like that? The fuck? Yo, who claps like that? Is she a cyborg? Alright, guys. Dude, no problem, Big Cheesy. The Brett Five, uh, the Brett Favre clap, huh? Okay. Three, two, one, go! Hands off my ah. Okay, no taunt still. Got me in the air. Nice. Damn, he got me. Damn. I should reverse fast. Ah, fuck, no dash. Nice spacing. How did I beat that? How did I beat that? Oh, nice. Oh, bullshit. So his back here seems like it's unsafe on block. Use my jump already. Oh, I got lucky there. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to land on the platform. Oh, he got behind me. Oh, I'm still alive. You can tell he's serious because he's actually controlling center and punishing bad Texan rolls. I'm not sure I have pit, Foxy. I'm gonna have regular pit, but regular pit sucks. I wanna be dark pit. Good luck, Big Cheesy. There's an opening Bowser. It says, now I meme. Going to the battlefield, let's go. Plus, baiting out options and forcing approaches with arrows. He's got pretty strong, uh... He's got pretty strong... I hope we lose. No, we lost to uh, Kid G! Yo, the bounty will go forever unclaimed, dude. The bounty will go forever unclaimed. Big Cheesy, you did it, dude! You scared him off! He's like, nah, I don't want to lose to Big Cheesy. Looked him up, and he plays in tournaments around Florida seemingly regularly, huh? Goblin. That guy's like, listen, I don't want no part of fucking... Here we go. Here we go, now we're talking. I don't want no part of this big cheesy character. He's like, he's already, he's lost me a few times, but now he's gonna beat me. Now he's got my, uh... 
My pattern's down pat. What a fucking coward. The pit left, yeah. yeah he's a pretty damn strong pit. Stand straight and try to keep your hips aligned with your back. Ooh, I a little bit of lag there. Kinji is kid gone. He's gone to conquer other lands, dude. He's conquered our land. He's going on to conquer other lands. Nice little life lead here for Zombie. Oh, it's already 2.40 in the morning. We're going to play for about 20 more minutes, guys. We've probably got like, you know, three or four more fights here. We're going to call it a night. We'll be playing Smash again next week, guys. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We have actually another uh, extra hour of Smash next week. Courtesy of hitting uh, 2,000, excuse me, 1,250 followers, right? That 1,250 follower goal was one hour of Smash extra every night for next week. So next week gives me uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday from around 11 p.m. to around uh, 3 in the morning. Wow, that's crazy. Oh no, the air dodge! Oh my it's Such a air dodge is so bad to hit an accident in this game. Bowser, I believe the code is. I believe the code is. Uh, 1 LNHK. I believe. 1 LNHK. Oof. Watch the flow of my movements as I demonstrate. All right, good space in there from shape. Makes the stick whiff. Distribute your weight equally between both legs. Ooh, a neutral air. With the drop kick on him. He can still catch up. It's not gonna be easy though. But uh, Wolf has a lot of kill options. Now, to your position. But uh, Luke is kind of hard to get in on. Oh wow! Could you see the reflector there? Nice, nicely done, Shade. It's gonna be a hard win there though. If he wants to actually get this come back. Oh wow, okay. Kind of hard to see that PK uh, flash with the white background. Here we go, he's catching up! Ooh! Yo, they come back! Oh no! Who's that? What happened? He his up B got eight somehow. Lucas wins. Stinky finger. His shield doesn't have that much recovery, does it? His down B. Monkey, your aching uh, has sadly rubbed off on my everyday speech. I'm sorry, machine. Yeah, I get that from uh, Mutant XP and other guys from the New York City area. That's their. Uh, that's their uh, dialect. Fox, is it Terry ducked out? You can't ledge grab it for reflecting for a while. Oh, okay, well, I'm still surprised you couldn't up a B, though. Three, we got Roy. So his voice is not what I remember it being. Seems like he's awfully uh, macho. He's like, burp, burp. Kiji lost to Fox Nair on Shield Spot Dodge Up Smash in Tournament. Feels bad. Yeah, maybe Noko's becoming uh, Kid G's biggest fan. Fox Nair on Shield. Spot dodge, up smash. Yeah, that sucks. 
Uh, that's life. I was say the classic. I don't know how he lost in tournament. Trying to figure out how to beat this guy. Then we gotta go old school with the spot dodge tactics. Oh, boy, that's pretty well there. Gotta say, people, if you want to demolish them, yo, Infinoko. He's gonna avenge us one day. I'm like, yo, Kid G, have you seen him on, like, uh, on Twitter or something like that? Yo, I dare you to come to Japan, G. I dare you. Keep talking that sweet shit over here in the land of the rising sun, boy. They're like, uh, I never talk shit once. Keep talking that sweet trash, motherfucker. I imagine that's what he sounds like. We got shit like that in Nippon, son. Catch this work. The unsung hero, Infinoka. Come out the shadow of Mount Fujiyama, son. I'm studying your moves. Now come on, Infinoko. You've been studying his moves. Study your moves, son. I see through your fist. Hope to no Ken. You can't touch me. Until it comes to Tokyo, exactly what I'm saying. Shout out to Kid G. Good games. Uh oh. Yo, let's go, Fox. That stock, son. Ooh, oh no, it's not safe. That punished him. Why isn't Tiki here in Smash? She could use the uh, D special like Zelda and Sheik from Sav to toggle drag. Who the hell is Tiki? Is that some guy from Fire Emblem? I don't know Tiki. I don't know this dude. So, Kyle says, I don't know if Halo is any good, huh? Roy's our boy. <gasps> oh! Wow, lucky spacing there. Ungayi. Oh. Wow, okay. He's Soren and Tiki, huh? Wow, he missed the ledge. Tell me word for word what to do in chat, and we got this, dude. Let's go. We gotta get uh, Shade and Infi and Discord. Lucas is pretty strong. But that's not why you won that. Again, he missed that ledge there. I don't think it would have two-framed him if he had actually got the ledge. That dice saber, huh? Get their percentage high enough and then smack them, says Kenny. That's a pretty good strategy, Kenny. I wish I had thought of that when I was trying to fight that Kid G guy. What's up, Dice Saber? Roars our dinosaurs say I love you. They put KK Slider in and I'll buy two copies of the fucking game. I don't even like Smash. Yo, uh, KK Slider is a guy. I'm not even into bestiality, but I'd suck his dick. He's at my local bar performing. No, look how it says. Don't encourage him, dude. He's gonna be doing it soon. Ten tricks pros don't want you to know. Number one, hit your opponent. Yes. Hit your opponent. Move your body, make you a harder target to hit. Press buttons. Except when you don't want to press buttons, then don't press buttons, right? Ooh. Okay. Had the right read, but a little bit too early. Pits everywhere, hate him. Click here to find out why. Yeah, pits everywhere, hate him. The reincarnation of Genghis Khan hates him. No, KGB. Yo, what's up? 
Nick must have KK slide into the them DMs <laughs> exactly, dude. KK slider. Yeah, the sexy man. The big sexy eyebrows. Yo, Rage, get on the phone. <laughs> yeah, there's some old motherfuckers. <sighs> Yo, get Rage on the phone. Yo, PS girl. Sexiest bot. Next to Venka bot. Press X to win that, too. Yo, Rage, get on the phone. Yo, is that Rage on the phone? <laughs> Ooh. Some lag spikes. Counter taunts, I like that. It seems that Zeal enjoys taunting Bowser Jr. It pleases him greatly. Yo, what's up? Yeah, we should bring it back, guys. How about that? That should be one of our new bot commands. What's up? We just had that video play. We use the Dookie command. Like fifteen dollar day, oh my god! Yeah, guys, you guys don't already know. Please taunt before the match as well. That's one of our rules here on Venkabai. Yeah, the tea back, the come back. I have a meme I've made and I want to send it to you. So I can I please join your Discord? Uh, yeah, it's at Venkabot.com. That's the Discord. All are welcome. We have a channel for memes in particular. By all means, check it out. Only post good memes, please. Bad memes get you banned instantly. Only the dankest of memes, please. Hey, okay, nice movement here from Zombie. So Zeal's coming back a little bit. Oh, could have punished that with the back here. Interesting choice there for PK Freeze mid air. I'm sure he wanted that. Good air dodge there. Well, I heard fucking dash dash. No, Zeal! Just gonna get, try to get that kill. Makes sense. The kill percentage. Nice little combo there. It wasn't really a combo per se. It wasn't a true combo, but it's pretty sick. Zombie, more like side B. He's not really a huge fan of the uh, PK fire. Whoa! No, spanked around the bum bum. GG. Stinky finger. Let's check out uh, her. Oh, yeah, she has that really weird salty clap. Yo. My god. Yo, what the fuck? Mmm, stinky finger. Okay, here we go. So, Zombie's playing uh, Lucas. Okay. Ready? Stinky finger, let's go. This is my last match of the night here, guys. We're gonna watch a few more after this, though. Come back on Monday with more Smash. Fuck. Hands off my there we go, that's better. I could have punished him more for that, that's really unsafe. Nice.
I didn't want that, but fuck. Oh, yeah. Super unsafe. How's it turn me around? I had so lucky there. It's so weird. Spacing. Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. I got so lucky right there. Oh, he missed with the fucking snake. Yo, my god. He missed with the snake. No way. Good game, dude. Yeah, fucking rope snake fucked him over, dude. I hope they fucked him over. Unluckers. We need an un un guy, dude. The anti un guy. A good game, uh. uh nah, thank you. We need that un un guy. So, who is Lycos? That name sounds familiar. I think they were on a previous stream of ours, but I'm not sure if they're in the chat. 
I'm playing Bowser? Or it's not, not Bowser, he's playing Man Bowser? Sharp lasers in training mode, Venka? I don't think I will, but I'll probably try that before the next stream in Pinoco. Or maybe on our next stream. I won't give him a chance to taunt. There we go. Good, 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 good. Okay. See, sometimes they'll attack at first. If you give them a moment, they'll 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 uh, they'll wise enough. I need to attack them. Oh hi! I didn't mean to do that twice. That fucking buffer. Oh, this lag is something else. I have a theory that the worse the lag is, the longer the buffer becomes. I need to check that. Oof. Jesus, this lag is something else. That probably works better against tall characters like Ganondorf. Oof, just barely didn't get it. Oh, I'm just in the wrong direction. That happens to me all the time in this game for some reason. I don't know how I get facing the other way. Oh, God. That's my tech. Ooh. Thank you for the bits. Somebody else up the cops. Thank you for the bits, dude. Oh, I still got hit. Thank you for the follow, uh, big cheesy boy. Good game, something. This man's heavy as fuck. Oh, my face that way. How the fuck do I face that direction? I need to punish that. I think when he lands, he's super unsafe. Oh, I have to, I have to roll in a direction. This lag is something else. I faced the wrong way too there somehow. Full slag. Oh man, yeah. Oh my yeah. Okay, if not for the leg, you probably could time that better. Oh no, what happened to his jump? Oof. Had enough already? That was weird. It's 3 a.m. guys. I we're going to quits here very short. I'm gonna fight Bowser Jr. Hopefully he bodies me. We'll watch him probably fight Shade and Dice Saber. That's what we're going to do. We're going to call it a night here. Because now I rule the arena. Cat Hunter says, uh, my jump, man. Oh, that's, that's you, huh? Lycos. Yeah, it's weird there's no jump there. Ready? Yeah, good night, a cow says. Yeah, good night, Cheesy. So his name is Bowser Jr., but he plays Bowser. Off 
There we go. I think he's about to make it his health percentage up. They're not, we're even. Alright, we're even. Right, I fucking black that. Oh, I forgot you can do that. Nice. Oof. I'm gonna follow a sheep. That's not safe. Ooh, that's dead. Oof, good game. Let's watch Bowser Jr. fight uh, whoever's next, then we'll watch one more fight after that. I understand the point of the explosion on launch is not a guaranteed kill. Well, it's supposed to kill. It's supposed to kill. Right, it, it has a chance to not kill. It's kind of like, you know, that's hype. I think it kind of makes sense to me. That's hype. It means it could kill, it means it's likely to kill, but you can kind of survive it sometimes. That kind of adds a little bit of extra tension. Visual mix-up, huh? 90% of throw kill kills if you don't touch the controller. That's true, but again, they know if it's like very likely to kill, then it'll do that slowdown thing. Okay, here we go. There we go, now we're talking. Now the fight is sanctioned. Okay. These fights are worth points now. They're not really worth points, but they're worth more points than they were before. Not really, they're both worth zero anyway. What if it, I don't get it, is it makes it time your DI easier? Surely it would. Uh, yeah, kind of, but you know, DIing is usually not that hard to time anyway. Like over shield there so it doesn't get broke. For kill moves, they're going to kill you anyways. I don't think the eye timing is going to be affected hugely. And it does make it easier by a little bit, of course. But usually you're not going to get smashed so fast, you're not, you don't see the DI coming. Oof, man. Coverage of the ledge there. 
Guys, we stream for eight hours a night here, five nights a week on Venkabop. We play a variety of games. I'm gonna be calling it a night here very shortly and coming back tomorrow for a 12 hour stream tomorrow on Friday. It's gonna be some Hitman, Blood Money, then some Intro to Python, some programming tutorial. I'm gonna teach you guys how to program. Then some more Hitman, Blood Money, and then some Minecraft to end the night out tomorrow night. Come back on Monday with more Smash around the same time, late, late at night. I will see you guys then. But as usual, guys, I'm gonna keep this channel online. Check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Venkabop. Even a buck is a huge help. Helps you buy gas and groceries and that kind of thing. It's very, very helpful. Uh, if you're like me, maybe you're totally broke, right? Maybe you want to help out financially, you really can't afford it. Maybe you're a student, or you're working part-time, or you're working full-time, you have a house to pay off on a family feed and bills to pay. Help for free in that case. Get in the chat, come and say hi. Follow on Twitch, tell your friends here. Come play games with us, make the stream more fun for everybody. It's also um, save clips of like highlights, sick KOs, that kind of thing. It's good for sharing on social media and promoting the channel. Nice. Also, you can... Uh, um, check out YouTube at youtube.com slash eventcomboutarchive. That's youtube.com slash eventcomboutarchive. We have all of our past streams archived there in 1080p, 60 frames. I put a lot of work into that. We have more than 1,000 videos, each one fully commentated, 1080p, 60 frames, like I just said, right? Super high quality. We also have a playlist there. Every game we play is in a playlist. We have RPGs, modern games, horror games, shooting games, retro games, multiplayer games, online, single player stuff, obviously. Puzzle games, adventure games. It's a lot of variety. We have uh, tutorials on there for programming Python. We've got some music stuff on there. It's a crazy-ass YouTube channel. 1,100 and some videos now. Publicly available. If you guys are on Patreon, you get access to 500 more. The patrons have all kinds of cool secret videos. So Shay's kind of like me, not very confident with the, with the kills off stage. DI itself isn't hard, but optimal DI or learning combo DI for a launch for a bunch of characters is what takes effort. I just mean, you know, you're talking about the, the slowdown, right? The slowdown, we get a killing blow. Or I should say, a lethal blow. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure it's going to make your DI that much easier. Right. What you're trying to say is, there's a place we can go to watch some 3S. Exactly, Infinoka. Lots of 3S on YouTube. A little bit of Smash on there as well. That's Smash 4, though. The, the newer Smash Ultimate videos are not there yet, unless you're on Patreon. You have access to those ones there. Let's watch one more match here. We're going to Bowser Jr. versus whoever is up next. Good game, Shade. Let's go, Dice. Yo, Dice, fuck up this dude. Yeah, Wolf's up B will go through the ledge like crazy. You can't really camp the ledge unless you're very careful. You gotta pull that shield towards your toesies. Good night, Shade. I wanna see how humans smash, huh? If you guys didn't know, a cow is literally a cow in real life. Yo, we got Donkey Kong? I almost hope that Dice loses, because Donkey Kong is the best salty clap in this game. But Bowser's been enjoying that spot enough. I want to see this guy get bot. Or not. No! Yo, my God. Yo, good games, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be it here for us. Dice, Saber, and Bowser Jr., for some reason, they can't play each other. Some kind of weird, yeah, some kind of weird glitch where certain guys can't play together. I theorize it has to do with lag sometimes, but it seems to happen other times even if there's no lag involved. Wait, 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 we're so good. One, go. Oh my god. Look, see, the connection's perfect, right? Why was that weird bug happening? So we got some DK gimmicks. Donkey Kong's about to shower this motherfucker with a coconut cream pies. Yo, let's go. Ooh, look how much damage that did with his shield. Yo, dice. Andrew Dice Clay? Is that suicide? That's weird. It's alright. We're back evened up here. Yo, the game costs 40 bucks at launch. Oh, yo, Caviez! Yo, 666 cents? Yo, why Caviez? Why you got me the curse, dude? It's a delicious curse though. It's a curse I can buy a sandwich with. I don't mind that kind of curse. How you doing, dude? Just end of the stream here. Yeah, really. I, I, I paid 40 bucks for it. Got a gift copy from my friend uh, Kate, too. Christine. Yo, fuck the UI, dude. I'm just fucked up with... I'm just pissed off about these lobbies. Okay, big life lead here for Bowser Jr. in the second stock. There was some Taco Bell. Yes. Yes. Some cursed-ass Taco Bell. Ooh, hit him on the, off the top uh, ledge there, the top of uh, platform. Oh. 
My problem is there's nobody playing on, on that platform anymore. Oh, very sneaky. Very, very sneaky win there. Makes sense, he had the stock lead. I'm gonna call it a night here, guys. Come back again for more Smash on Monday. It's gonna be tomorrow. It's gonna be a lot of Hitman, some Minecraft, and some Python. Have a good night, guys. And if I don't see you guys until Monday, have a good weekend. Uh, peace out and good evening. Oh, look at that salty clap. Oh, my God. Oh, I love that salty clap. That's the best in the game. That's that. I'm coming back, dude. Don't get too comfortable. I'm coming back for that. Yeah, I'll see you guys uh, very soon. Them grips. Input lag is very slightly more than OE in Finoco. It's like one or two more frames after of OE. So not as good as OE. Let's put that Yes, pleasure by ladders. Yeah, I played OE on the same monitor as I'm playing uh, Anniversary on, and you can definitely tell the difference in input delay. It's quite playable. I've been really enjoying it. I've been enjoying 30th. So it's a shame about the four man lobbies and the lobby bugs on Steam. Yeah, overall, it's quite decent. Pleasure by ladders. Max four-player lobbies, and then they don't always work. Again, on Steam, they're really, really bugged out. On Steam, you can't really spectate either. It's a huge problem. And, certain, and people will oftentimes get the same turn twice. They'll lose and then get another turn. The lobby won't, like... Iterate. Yeah, MVP have a PS4 and a St uh, and Steam. I definitely recommend the PS4 version over the Steam version, especially for streaming. I used to try and stream on Steam, and I had to give it up because I can't be a streamer and not be able to watch matches. I have to be able to watch matches in order to stream it, unless you're going to be playing all the time. I got TNT. Yeah, it works pretty well on PS4. There's very, you know, they still got some similar bugs to Steam, but they're nowhere near as common. Oh my god. Did you get that? Fuck. I've been streaming the PS4 version for many months now, and it's given me a lot of joy, so I'll give it that much credit. That was sick! That was a little punish. I think they do that. Someone, someone clip that. <laughs> Good funny stuff. I didn't have a chance to use it, and I was like, well, here's my chance.